Me and Larry met, I can say, well, I can say when we were kids, you know. I was training and Larry was watching how things I used to do. And I, I can say, then he was interested and I said, I started giving him dogs, you know. I can say to further his, to further his education because he was interested. I used to raise pit bulls. I had pit bulls in 62, when people didn't even know what pit bulls were. You know, with Larry, I, see, I feel, like I said, Larry, he's basically one of the only ones that is trying and doing it the correct way. We've been doing several things, contacting different people uh, about different things that we need to do. I have to get in touch with Ken Bell. Uh, to find out uh, what is going on with uh, Pitbull Energy Drink. You know, we want to make sure that they've got their final confirmation and that, that they're going to be there. Uh, get in touch with Ray Certified. Hello. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Larry Hill and myself have uh, co-produced and put on um, three to four shows over the years and all have been big successes and um, Larry Hill and I still continue to do business to this day. That's about a uh, five year old, like about a one and a half year old. This uh, uh, maybe about a one year old female. I'm a um, professional breeder, been breeding the American Pit Bull Terrier for close to 35 years now. Been um, dealing primarily just with pit bulls, have developed my own bloodline, which is exclusive, which means I only breed my dogs to my dogs, therefore I have count accountability with it. Um, the, the biggest uh, asset to that is, is that when I sell a dog to someone, I can look them in their eye and tell them that Everything about that dog can be verified. Any claim I make, I'll substantiate. I have documentation to show that every pit bull that has been bred with the certified name has been bred here. I have written documentation, photo documentation. Everything that needs to be said about a certified bred pit bull, I can substantiate. much time in, in, in developing this line that when you look at the dog you almost see the same dog in every single dog okay it's just repeated after repeated there are variations in the color but it's very virtually the same dog I talked to the uh, DJ today, and uh, he's good and he's set to go, but I have to find out from the park if we have uh, the proper electrical outlets there for him to set up and operate, and if not, then I've got to go get a generator, you know, so that uh, he'll be able to uh, do the things he needs to do for the show that day, announcing uh, the dogs and the dog handlers and what they're competing for, what they're competing in, things of that nature. fees are and stuff like that that they've already been secured. What we're going to do right now is we're going to, we're going to go over here to the over here to the area where the dogs are going to be where we're going to hold the competition basically 
just kind of give an eyeball of the comp of the area just kind of get a visual of exactly how we want to set the vendors out you know how we want to lay out the field although we've already got it already laid out it's just going to be kind of like uh, like I say, just a visual right now, just to kind of get a last minute look at things and kind of picture things how I want things to go that day. We're pretty much there now, you know, so there's a little bit of tension, but at the same time, there's a lot of elation, you know, so uh, I feel real good right now. So we're going to go over here and check out this area. You see now right now they're out there, they're putting water down on the field and wetting it down. They should uh, keep folks from being on the field for the next couple of weeks. In this area right here, okay, we're gonna set up the basic two receiving tables, okay? Puppy imprinters will be right here, and Black Mass Kennels will have their tables set up right here. On the far end of the park right here, in this area over here on the far side, over underneath the trees, we're gonna have a row of vendors over there on that side over there, okay? And then the dogs, the dogs will be inside the field here, all the protection work, the routines and everything will be on the inside. We don't have to worry about the dogs getting loose, coming out, you know, biting one of the spectators or nothing like that, you know. They'll be all fenced in. And then we can go down here on this far end. And uh, we're gonna have a row of vendors down there. So all this walkway here will be all clear for people to walk and look and see what's going on on the inside the field. We don't really have seating. We don't really have seating for this event because this, this field didn't come equipped with seating. But for the event that we're gonna do a dog show, you know, uh, people can either bring their own chairs, you know, and a lot of times people want to stand and watch and see what's going on. So I think it's going to be okay. All right. It looks good. There's a field of mind in the cosmos that we call the subjective. Some people call it the subconscious. Others well, call Larry it Hill has tapped into the subjective of animals in general dogs and he goes people. into that knowing that the animal is always understanding mind thought to mind this allows him to have an incredible persuasion and influence with your animal